the essence of what German design is. That's why we're here. Precision, attention to details. Pushing the solution a little farther. Everything is very thoughtful. Everything is considered. Audi solutions always a little more the avant-garde. Life is the biggest inspiration you can get. Walk around with your eyes open all the time. This year's design challenge is called Youthmobile 2030. Design a car for people who actually haven't even been born yet. It's looking at youth culture and how it relates to mobility, personal connections, and social networking. Each of the teams will basically come up with a concept. Typically as a team, we're all kind of on the same page. In every design, you have to keep certain heritage that that brand has. We all kind of have a similar understanding of what the brand represents. Yet at the same time, infuse it with what's exciting, what's new, and the car could be less a uh, vehicle from getting from here to there and much more an experience in other ways. I always had an appreciation for cars, a fascination. That's what's nice about working at Audi is there's a real appreciation for technique expressed in the sculpture. There's just a culture here of people trying to do something different. This could only happen in California. There's this mentality of I can do whatever I want to do. It can do anything, that kind of mentality. And that's one reason why I'm here in California, because where a lot of life takes place, and that's for me the biggest inspiration. I'm more like old school designer. I like paper and pencil because the sketch process on paper for me is to find the basic idea, the basic proportions, the basic themes, and that's why I really prefer the, the old school approach. I am an interior designer. The challenge of the interior is a little bit more to my taste. We try to push the envelope as well. Elegance when you want it to be elegant, sporty when you want it to be sporty, and young when you want it to be a little bit fresher or, or more unique. I was very much attracted to the design process, how someone draws inspiration. I think there are a lot of ways, you know, so the idea that something could be born out of someone's imagination, that was very kind of captivating as well as satisfying. And then moving out from that, coming up with something that seduces people. For me, that's what it's all about. Share ideas and come up with things that I never would have come up with alone. But having the chance to resonate with other people, other designers um, here at Audi is pretty amazing. I think for this design challenge, the interior will play a very strong role. You know, there are two approaches to design. One is from the formal aspect and one is from the functional. It's kind of like, in a way, you're kind of making your own fantasy kind of come to life. That's a great, you know, just intellectual exercise being able to do something that doesn't have to be feasible because I think that whole process, you know, will really open up the ideas, having a concept that really makes sense, but is, is not something that would be predictable.